What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2320. Why do you always run away? <laughs> We're going over a Stanley 2150 pressure washer. Uh, this is my second one. The first one I cracked the actual uh, the manifold on. Okay, so this is the manifold right here. If you don't disconnect that hose over the winter time and bring it inside, you good got a good chance of cracking a manifold. I went ahead and uh, uh, left the hose on and left it in my garage. That manifold cracked. There's about a cup of water left in that pressure hose and left in there, and it cracked the manifold. So this year, I bought on clearance the Briggs and Stratton the uh, adapters. So it was supposed to rain, so I'm this one right here wouldn't go into my hose. So I actually put it just directly on there. I'll get that on some other day that's supposed to rain. This is where your hose actually goes into right here. It goes into here. This is on tight. I find it easier to put it in that way. Now what I did buy, these right here all have the little angles, which this is a 40 degree, 25 degree, 15 degree, and zero degree. Zero degree is the most pressure, but when you have a zero degree, all it is is one straight line. Just one straight line. So these are turbos that you could buy where it'll give you that same one degree, but it spins it in a circle real fast. So I got some Dawn in here, just a little bit of Dawn, then fill the rest up with water. It will not suck just the Dawn up. So you just put some Dawn, then fill it up with water. And if this isn't gonna be high pressure, this is like almost like a foamer. All right, so you just put the rest of the water in there. You'll see where it goes in and goes to the side. That's how it goes on there. And then the water hose comes onto this side over here. But this spins so it makes it easier. Before you turn your power on in the pressure washer, make sure you got water going to it, otherwise you're gonna run your motor dry. <laughs> so I'm always cracking up at me because I'm running back to the side of the house because I didn't have the gun part of it on. Not the gun part, I don't want to say the word gun. You know, it's not good to say shooting, fire, or gun, or uh, even shoot video or nothing like that on YouTube because uh, you don't want to get your YouTube channel flagged. So I didn't put the sprayer part on. I didn't have it screwed in here, so I had to run all the way back. But that's the sprayer part right there. So I had to have that screwed on, so the water's coming out. I got water to the hose, so now you can turn it on. So now it's all filled up, and then you hear it go like that. It stops the pressure by itself. So right now, what I have on here is the soap, and you could put however much soap you want. You could control the soap thing right here. All right, so what I want to get is these right here. So. All it does is spray the soap. Not fast, not anything like that. It just sprays soap on it. So more soap. You put more soap. All right, so I'm gonna show you with the turbo because I'm gonna get the paint off. I have to clean this one, so that's why I'm putting soap on it. Now I have the house cleaner, but I'm not gonna put the house cleaner on it because it has bleach and I don't wanna kill the flowers. I don't want to kill the flower, so that's why I'm not putting the house cleaner on it, but I'm going to spray it off with the pressure. And then also I wanted to try in here because on the inside of this, that's really bad. But I'm going to try it with just putting the soap on it. But when you use a turbo, it gets a lot of the paint too. So let's see this up here. I'm going to spray that with the soap. Get all that chip paint, the turbo will get all that chip paint off. This All this is is Dawn that I'm putting on here. Like I said, we do have the uh, cleaner, but with the plants, the cleaner will kill the plants because there's some bleach in it. So I'm gonna spray this down, then I'll be right with you when I put the turbo on. Okay, now here's the difference. Then this is a zero, and this is the turbo. Now the turbo actually sprays with the zero, but in a circle pattern. This is a zero. So that actually is pretty good, but for paint remover, there's a one of these, and it gives you the zero, but in a circular motion. You have to spray it down first, because if you lift it up, there's like a little marble or something in here that rotates, so you could break it, which I, there it is right there. Let's go to this side over here. So can you that close? You see, I put the dawn on it and there was algae in that. And you see the redness coming clean and you see the algae down there. I want to try to get closer in there, my love. I don't want to put you on wet one. Oh, 
I mean, it looks 10 times better. But if I had the turbo, it'll be 10 times easier. Hold on, let me try the turbo on that. Bring some more dawn on here now that's just dawn and water dawn and water and then i use the turbo to get it cleaned off but it makes a big difference i got a tuck point over here see how this guy looks a lot more red it looks a lot more red because i tuck pointed it that already and i'm working my way that way but it cleans the brick out really nice and then right here if you can see i blasted the paint away because we're going to repaint these white so I blasted whatever paint I could get off instead of scraping or whatever. It take, but it does leave, let me tell you this. It does leave a lot of that that I gotta wash off afterwards. But if you have algae, man, it blasts the algae right off. So all this is gonna be tucked. I tuck pointed part of it, but I gotta tuck point all the rest of it right here. So either way, I'm gonna use it. The turbo's working a lot better now. Maybe there was some dirt in there or something was in there, but it's working a lot better now. Okay, let's try this again. You gotta start the turbo down. When you start down, then you can bring it up. Now you can see the bricks already that were clean and the bricks that weren't cleaned. That section was clean, that wasn't clean, and that wasn't clean. You could settle the difference in color. But in the same, you could buy you could buy the, the, uh, the outdoor cleaner, the bleach, but we got plants down, so I don't want to put the bleach down. So that's what I'm just doing with Dawn and uh, the pressure washer. I think the Dawn foam and the pressure washer is working actually pretty good. I know there's a lot of tuck pointing that gotta be done, but that'll get done this season. All right, so before you're done with everything, you're gonna have to put the, a regular like 40 degree or 30 degree, because you see all the dirt and the grit and the everything. So I had to spray off the whole porch right here. But look at this, I mean, the orange is orange again. It got all the dirt out of there, made the bench look brand new again. I cleaned these up with the sprayer, but uh, uh, I do have to get a lot of it tuck pointed still and painted, so I'm gonna hire somebody to do the top painting for me we're gonna paint these that's why i used the uh the turbo to get these scraped and painted i did this with the turbo that was actually tuck pointed there's a little part i gotta come and then this right here this top little bit right here i gotta grind out and tuck point right here but i'm gonna grind it out and tuck it myself now i would get a lot of efflorescence over here i cleaned that with the pressure washer you see there's two different paints i would really like to use that paint again no idea what paint that was one of them was barn red so I don't know which one it was, but that came out really nicer than this right here. But all this needs to really be grind and tuck, so I'll do that. I'm going to use my battery for my uh, Craftsman angle grinder and grind that out one day and then start tucking it after that. 